In continuing to work on assignment two, this was the sketch that was worked out for the example. The important thing about the sketch is that you have an idea of the proportions you want in the body, you know, the size of the head to the body, the length of the neck, and you have an idea of the angle that you're trying to find reference for. So I want this head at a three-quarter angle, and I want the wings at this kind of angle where I'm looking underneath them. And I want the chest at kind of a three-quarter angle to the front. And on and on. And then you start looking for references. Now, I looked for hummingbird wings. And I'm using Pixabay. Because it's a really good place to start. And sometimes what we think things look like, they don't really look like. What's really weird about hummingbird wings is they don't have all the, the strong, like, angled joints in fact, the only musculature in a honeybird wing is right there. So it's actually there and then the joint to there. So it's almost no structure at all. It's almost like a flower petal. And they're just not dramatic enough in the silhouette. So I was going to change gears. And so I thought, well, maybe something like bat wings, which is the opposite of hummingbird wings. You'll see all that articulation really clearly in the skeletature of a bat wing. But bats are really hard to get photos of when they're flying, much easier to get them when they're just hanging out. So what if, and there's only one page of bat wings, and if I look up just bat, I might get a few more, but similar problems. And then things like this are just not good quality reference. So if I open link and new tap, and this looks like it's like a bad Halloween toy or something. So even though it's the right angle, it just feels distorted and, and off. So don't use bad reference. Better to change what I'm searching for. But I, I'm not only limited to Pixabay. I could do a Google image search. And if I look for bat wings, these are copyrighted images, right? And it's not a problem that they're copyrighted and that they're, they're owned by someone else and I can license them. The problem is I don't want to have to pay for that license, right? And I don't want to get something that has a big watermark on it. So what I'm going to do is use my tools to limit the size to only large, which is going to be a thousand pixels or bigger. And because the wings are a pretty big part of my creature, I need them to be high resolution. I'm going to see a lot of Halloween costume wings, which don't really have that anatomy. But when I find one that I think can work, let's see, I can limit the usage rights to Creative Commons, but that might give me a little bit more just wildlife photography. But I might not find it at the right angle. Like, I don't want to see the back of the wings. I do want to see the underside of the wings, but not like flattened out. I want this to be something in flight, which is tricky. So I might change gears. So this is the best so far, but it's just the wings are in the, the wrong position. And this one looks promising. And you don't want to just spend a long time chasing something that isn't likely to have good results. So this is promising, but it's a very different silhouette than I was going for. So what I think I really just want are just basic bird wings. But I want to have some interest to them. So maybe I look up like canary wings or something specific, parrot wings. I'm just trying to get that shape, and this one looks pretty good. I can change color. I can change lots of things. I can change kind of lighting and texture, but what I can't change is the angle on the anatomy. So I've got six pages of parrot wings, but I can see really quickly when they might work and when they might not. So we have a cockatiel here. I grew up with those. 
And those are that's a pretty good, good option here. But you see how the wings now match the angle of my sketch. And I get kind of that anatomy from them. So I'm going to download that one. And then the wings here, they kind of match the anatomy of my sketch. I'd have to tilt them. So I might download that one. And it's always good to have more options than you need for compositing. So find, you know, one or two good options for each thing you need. But try not to, to get five. You know, don't hunt endlessly. Believe me, I've done that. <laughs> and you can spend hours just trying to find the perfect reference that doesn't actually exist. Because if you don't see it quickly, it doesn't make it any more likely to exist as you keep looking. Okay, so... What do I do? Once I have these references, I've downloaded them. They go to my downloads folder. This is what I've downloaded so far. Stuff for the head, stuff for the chest, stuff for the wings. So I need a pelvis and talons, and it can be helpful to get that all from one reference, if such a thing exists, but it needs to be from the right angle. Like this is beautiful, but it's from the back instead of from the front. And that's pretty good, except he's, it's kind of too close to the ground. So what if I just look for eagle? Here we go. It'll also show you what the tags were. So eagle, bird, bird of prey. It just didn't have claws in there. I could look up talons. And there are 42 pages of eagle. So such things do exist. Now, if I download it at the full, full resolution, because I'm zoomed in, then I can look in the download and I can see that it's got the right angle and it's got the talons and it's sharp and in focus, but he's actually got a little dead bird in his hand right, in his, in his talon. So that's the kind of thing I can composite out. But it's got the raw material that I need. Nice golden eagle there. So now I need a tail, because I don't want to just use the default tail. And I want this kind of silhouette. So I've been asked a couple times this morning, do you have to use animals, right? Only animals. And no, I could use something like palm, palm leaves for the tail. But it's tricky because I have to make it match with the anatomy. So maybe if I look for a certain kind of flower, like a bird of paradise, maybe the leaves around that, you know, this might give me a really interesting split tail. Here we have a nice fantasy creature right there. Now, personally, I don't like it when the head comes all from one reference because it's just too recognizable, right? And it feels a little mu too much like weekly world news or something. But we will learn how to make whatever you do look as good as we can. So let's see, a bird of paradise option. The easiest is when the reference is on a blank background. It's really easy to cut out then, like these. Sometimes it's even cut out for you, like on a PNG. But often, that's why I always open them in a new, new link, but often they'll be sharp and in focus on a slightly blurry background, and that makes it fairly easy to cut out as well. Make sure I downloaded this. I think I did. Now, in looking at that, I might get another idea. What about like, um, like an agave cactus? 
Maybe I can find some nice spiky frongs of of that to use as my tail. But it would need to be just the right kind of photo. Right. And the tail is maybe the, the least important of these. It can be added later. So here's a blade of agave that I could use as a tail. Remember to download the image. Don't just save the preview image. So you can use things that are not from animals and combine them. Like this is a really interesting texture. But we're trying to get this finished for next class, so we also try to limit our ambitions to five major references that we can use. So I'm going to stop there. I'm going to download this just in case I need some, some cool texture, maybe for around the chest. Because that's going to be easy to cut out and fun. And then this will be an extra one for my tail, along with my agave and my bird of paradise and all those options. All right, so now, to improve my sketch, all I need to do is just choose the references that are best. Right. So I have my inspirations. And now I'm going to have my references. I'm going to make a new folder just for the references, the reference assets to build with. And I got this one for like the body of the vulture. It's also got some great talons. So that's going to go in. And then I've got all these ones that I've downloaded from this morning. I've got ones for the head. I've got ones for the tail. I've got ones for the wings. Move those all into one folder within my assignment. Okay, then I'm going to open up that folder and I'm going to use my view options. Show view options. Make those icons bigger and then group them by name so I can see them clearly. Maybe close the grid spacing a little bit. Close the view options. And now I have to pick my best assets. So I'm torn for the head. Like this one's really sharp and at the exact right angle. I just need to flip it. So that works really well for that part. But then there's also this one, which I like the coloring on, but it's not quite as in focus. So that's pretty much, oh, no, nope, go back. <laughs> that's pretty much the angle. So I have to kind of choose because it doesn't make sense to composite them together. And what I think I might do is use the eye from this one and then the, the top of the crest from this and then blend this area that I like the lighting on to this. But do notice how the focus is different, how sharp this is, and how this is just a little bit softer. So these are little things we'll try to control that you'll often have to control in this work. Even though they're both good quality, they have subtle differences in them. So I'm going to mark both of those. I'm going to mark them with, let's do something different than green. I'm going to mark them with gray. Now, what is the mouth going to be? So I was thinking a caiman. I flirted briefly with a donkey, but I really like this, this caiman reference. So I'm going to flip this. I'm just doing this in preview, but I could do it in Photoshop as well. And that's going to connect. But notice that it's at a three-quarter view. It also gives me a nice way to set the eye if I want to use it. But I think I'm going to use a different setting of the eye further back. So that's going to be gray. So all of these are for the head. Now for the body, I have this one. I'm going to mark the body as purple for a really good chest. 